is going to be a reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. So if you have Taurus in a major chart placement, then this reading is most likely for you. This is a general collective reading, though it's not a personal, so you still need to use your intuition to know if it's for you or not. If you're a cross watcher, so if you do not have Taurus in a major chart placement, this could still be for you if it showed up on your homepage or you felt drawn to this reading. Spirits could still be using this as a message for you. So just because you're not, you don't have Taurus in a major chart placement, you know, go ahead and watch the video and just use your intuition to know if there's a message in there for you. This reading is timeless, which means it shouldn't matter when I post the reading. What truly should matter is when you found it. I could have posted it a year ago and you found it today and that's when you were supposed to see it. So we're gonna use this deck here, Witches, Wisdom, Oracle Cards. To kick this reading off and find out what this reading is gonna be about. What do you need to know? What words of wisdom is Spirit wanting you to know? Or what do they want to give you a heads up on? What would they like to communicate with you? Okay, so we have magic circle protection. So this has to do with your protection here. Let's find out more. This has scrying mirror shadow. So I feel like this has been coming out a lot in a lot of the readings lately. It's like you have a shadow work to do. You need to look in the mirror to do this shadow work. And they want you to know that you're protected while you do this. Anything else from this deck? Cloak concealment, yeah. Like this is black cloak they're wearing. So maybe there's something here that's been concealed to you that's going to be coming to light. And when you do this shadow work, you're gonna dig in there and you're gonna bring this up. You're gonna bring this to light. You are protected here. find out more about the shadow work. Can you tell me more spirits? Something that's been concealed to you will come to light when you take a look in the mirror. Now, you know, it could be twin flames. We're talking mirrors. It could be twin flames. Um, maybe they trigger something and it something that's been concealed comes out. I think it all resonates with you. We won't jump to that conclusion unless I get a lot of other Twin Flame vibes. But again, you know, I believe you are protected while you do this soul searching, while you do this shadow work. What else spirits? Spirits have been cloaking something, keeping something from you. We had imagination. You know, the funny thing is, there was something I just saw imagination here. See, air imagination. I just saw it on the bottom there, but I didn't know if I should take it. And now we have imagination here. So I am gonna take it now. We also have witches caught of security. So we'll keep that in mind. So we have air imagination. So I felt like when I saw that, I thought I might say it, but then I thought, eh, I'm not sure. So that would have been maybe use your imagination. When I think imagination, I think manifestation. I think when you're doing like meditation, um, just visualization, this card says imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. Let your imagination guide you. I don't know, I'm getting that somehow. I don't know what that has to do with shadow work though. So maybe you're trying to manifest something. Because air is, air is energy of the mind. This is your mind. And then it's almost like there's a cloud up here blowing something, this cloud, this spirit blowing something your way, blowing this magic your way. So believe in magic, use your mind, use your imagination, your creative aspect of your mind to create but I don't know what that has to do with shadow work. 
concealment. Something was concealed. You're protected as you do the shadow work. So what that makes me think of is, you know, I've talked about this in readings recently where when you're manifesting, I feel like lately it keeps coming up that in order to get what you want, you have to heal wounds that are stopping you, your blocks that are stopping you. So with this imagination, I feel like you're manifesting something here. And I think you need to use this imagination or whatever this is, this magic from spirit to be your compass because there's this on the roof here, there's this um, like weather vane, you know, north, west, south, east. So I feel like that's also let spirit be your compass and just kind of let your imagination flow. Now, I don't know if that has to do with like, while you do your shadow work, letting your imagination flow. I don't know if they're combined. I feel like you've got one message here about manifesting and using your imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. So you've got that, but then you also have the fact that you need, something's been concealed from you. You need to do shadow work to get this manifestation, to get to this manifestation. And you're protected. So there's two different messages here, but I feel like this message over here is to let spirit guide you or let the magic guide you or let your imagination guide you, something like that. So we have imagination twice. I find that pretty interesting that we had, you know, two cards that say imagination. Plus we have surrender, which is I, re I can release my need to control. So you need to so I feel like they're just telling you what you need to do for your manifestation to come in. So these cards are talking about your manifesting and also, you know, let your imagination guide you. So maybe whatever you're manifesting needs you to be creative and just let that spirit guide you, your imagination just open up and flow and let that magic in. But then we also have that you need to do shadow work here. So that's like another part of you manifesting in order to get past your fears and let this flow. Maybe you have to do this, the shadow work. Something was concealed from you, probably by spirit. There's lots of, you know, on all of these cards, on all of these cards, I guess they use it a lot in their description, but there's lots of like these little magical like stars, you know, magical stars all throughout here. So this is all about just kind of letting the magic guide you protect you, not just magic, but your angels. I think the angels bring the magic. The source, the universe is, is, the, is the, the energy that brings the magic. So when you speak magic, you're actually talking about God or angels bringing it to you. So magic is not a bad word. <laughs> it's not a bad word. Witchcraft is not a bad word. Being powerful and using your mind to create things is not bad. It's not evil like people seem to think. So they're wrong. They're wrong and they like to take their ideas and force it on other people. And it's one thing to express your ideas on your own channel, but it's another thing to go on other people's channels and, and force your opinion on other people. So don't do that. That's me. I don't run around trolling other people's. I don't go to their channels and I'm too busy. I got too much to do. I'm just here to give messages from God, from spirit, by the way. We're on the same team. Um, anyway, so that's what I've got so far. But, you know, I, I feel like this is just talking about manifestation. Spirit, God has really been wanting to teach about manifestation lately. You know, there's a reason why it's trending. It's just, um, it, it's very much uh, a lesson for all of us right now. We're in that phase of life where it's important to learn how to manifest, how to control our thoughts, how to, because we're going from age of Pisces into age of Aquarius, old earth, new earth, 3D to 5D, the consciousness is rising. So with that, God wants us to learn how to raise our consciousness. He's teaching us through these readings. God, source, angels, whoever it is that's guiding these readings is teaching us how to manifest has been coming out a lot, at least in my readings it has, I think probably in a lot of people's readings, but um, so you're protected. You need to do some shadow work. There's something that's been concealed to you. And then we have over here talking about the manifestation. You need to do shadow work to bring it in. You're protected while you do it. Something has been concealed, something will come to light, but you also need to do your, use your imagination here. Let your imagination guide you, but you also need to surrender. So those, 
you know, they're just telling you the different aspects of manifestation that you need to be paying attention to right now and doing. And surrendering happens to be one of the major parts of manifestation at the very end. After you've done your manifestation, after you've felt it, after you've learned to believe in it, it's just surrendering control to the divine. So there you go. Okay, so I'm going to stop this reading here. I'm going to go into a bonus extended reading before I get into that. Let me ask you to please subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified when I put out another video. That way you don't miss any details. The Spirit wants you to know about your situation, things that can help you and guide you, motivate you. That's my goal anyway. Click like and share the video if you can. That will help me to grow my channel, but it'll also help me to connect to your energy uh, stronger in future readings so that I can you know, tailor these readings a little more to you as well. And um, if you want a personal reading, you can get one on my website, www.bossasswitch1111.com. That's four ones. It's the only place you can pay me for a reading. If anybody ever asks you to pay them someplace else, that's good. good sign that's not me. I don't come onto comments asking people if they want a reading. I will advertise my readings in my videos and on my lives. Obviously, you got to advertise, but I will not come to you in the comments and say, hey, do you want a reading? That's a good sign, not just with me, but anybody. That's a good sign that you're not even talking to the, the person whose account it appears to be. That's probably somebody creating a fake account catfishing. And that, that liability lies on them, not me, you know, not the tarot card readers. Not It's not even tarot card readers. There's even like... Anybody that has any kind of social presence is being cat is being copied and impersonated to try and scam people by certain people, scammers. So be very careful. Um, anyway, so I'm going to go into an extended reading. If you want a personal, get it on my website. If you want to watch the rest of this reading, if you feel like um, it could be for you and your gut, like I said, we haven't really gone into many like individual details here. We've just kind of covered the basic. And sometimes I do feel like spirit keeps it general on purpose so that it can mean a lot of things for a lot of people. Um, but if you feel like it's for you and your gut, you'll know. You'll just know. You'll have this feeling like this is a sign for me. And you want to watch the extended, go down below, click the link to my Patreon. You'll notice when you click that link, it takes you to my Patreon. And I guess you have to sign up. It's only $5.55. And that's not just for this one reading. This one extended, that's actually for exclusive access to all of the extendeds I've done up until this point and all of the extendeds that I do going forward. So a lot, a lot of videos, a lot of content. I mean, every day it's just more to the library, a lot of content that you have access to. So if one of my videos shows up on your page, you'll have access to that extended. You can keep watching the extendeds and keep getting this extra information for only $5.55. So it's great value. I call it an investment because a lot of these videos are guiding you to your abundance. So a measly $5.55 and it's going to help you get to your dream life. So I think it's awesome. Hopefully you do too. If you want to watch it, go down below, click the link. Also, my extendeds, I think they get super fun. I think they get super synchronistic. I just did two readings, one for Aries and one for all signs. And those, I thought they were pretty amazing as far as the synchronicities go, the flow of the reading, the cards that popped out, the, you know, the cards where there was more than one, two, three of each card. I thought it was pretty amazing. I love those readings. So, and that's how they usually get in the extended. So it is worth a watch. So if you wanna watch it, go down below, click that link. Otherwise, if you want a personal reading, get it on my website. I'm gonna go now and I will meet you over there so that we can find out more. In the extended, I always, um, I ask what's gonna happen in the next six months to a year or sooner. So we'll know if this manifestation is coming in. We might even know more what this manifestation is. Is this love, is this money? All I know at this point is you have shadow work to do, you're protected, something's concealed, use your imagination and come to surrender. Those are the kind of the main messages we've gotten so far. So we're gonna really dig in and get a lot more details for you um, that can really help you with this situation of what are you trying to manifest here? What do you need to use your, man, your imagination on? So go down below, click the link, Get over there. Watch that. Watch that extended. What are you waiting for? I'll see you over there. Bless you.